This video is brought to you by the case that can increase your download speeds by up to 30%. Go to amidcasing.com for more information. And the ultimate iPhone warranty that protects your phone from drops, spills, and everything Apple will not. Squaretrade.com slash TSIG. How's it going there, YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review of the Switch Easy ticker case for iPod Nano 6G. But before we get into that, I just want to talk about a few prerequisite issues. The first one being the addition of Ricky and Aaron to the team. A lot of you left very negative, rude, and heart hurtful comments. Guys, it's not cool. They're staying here, they're not leaving, so suck it up. Um, you know, put some salt in that wound. It's not gonna change so I would appreciate it if you guys are kind and open armed to them because they're both excellent reviewers if you got off to a bad start give them a couple videos to figure out the mannerisms and all that other stuff uh, because they are excellent reviewers Aaron especially does incredibly good videos go check out his channel at Zolotech and uh, he has an HTC HD 7 Windows phone review that's coming on Wednesday that is absolutely phenomenal one of the best phone reviews I've ever seen so you know if you got off to a bad note let it just Put all your grievances aside because uh, they're going to be bringing absolutely excellent content you won't want to miss out on. Now that being said, I'm not leaving. I'm not going anywhere and I'm just going to be putting up as much content as I ever have before. But with three guys, we're going to be putting up a ton of content. It's going to be power content and it's going to be awesome content. We're going to hopefully be putting a video up every day for as long as we can. So. It really is a good change and uh, it really is something that I know every single one of you will like if you're willing to open your hearts to it. So please be nice, don't leave rude or hurtful comments. I do have the ban hammer and keep that in mind. Insulting one of my one of my teammates isn't going to help me out and uh, you're not going to benefit from it because you probably won't be able to see my videos in the future. So just be nice, enough said. Secondly, uh, I read all of your surveys, I read all of your comments and feedback, I figured that lighting was probably one of the things I needed to work on. I'm still working on it, I have the setup, I've been reading on forums, I actually ordered another lamp that will go above us. So apologize the lighting in the next couple videos, we'll try and get it as perfect as we can. The audio was, everyone, the majority of you said it was fantastic, and it should be because this is an absolutely astounding microphone. If you didn't say that the quality was fantastic, you need new earphones or new ears because this is a good little microphone. Um, I got this little mic flag, it looks absolutely incredible, TSIG, boom, fight the power. Um, what else are we talking about? Oh yeah, um, number one requested item from me was headphone reviews. Kind of obscure, kind of odd, because I thought I was going overboard with headphone reviews, but all of you guys want to see headphone reviews. So if you guys want to see it, you guys are going to get it. That's absolutely what I want to give you, and we'll be seeing a lot of those in the next couple weeks, especially since I have about five that are in the mail right now. So we'll be doing a ton of headphone reviews, and I'm glad, because I love reviewing headphones, so I'm glad you guys like to see them as well. Also, and this video does not apply, but in the future I'm going to try and keep my videos under 8 minutes. That was also the number one request and the number one suggestion was that my videos were too long. I know that I'm, I can be very concise and to the point and I can convey my message in a short duration of time. The issue is, is I like to chat, I like to BS with you guys, I like to do this. But I can see how it would become uh, near tedium to watch my videos if it was so much crap you don't care about. So I'm going to keep my reviews under eight minutes in the future and hopefully if I can five. So you're still going to get to know me, you're still going to hear my jokes and you're still going to hear all this funny stuff, but I won't be going on for hours and hours and hours on it. So there you go. Those are your suggestions. Let's get in to the Switch Easy Ticker. I'm Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and let's go to the close-up cam. Okay, so here's the Switch Easy ticker. It's a very, very cool little case. I really have liked reviewing it. And what it is, is for the iPod Nano 6 generation. Ever since this little bad boy came out, and even before then, people were saying, iPod Watch, iPod Watch, iPod Watch. And uh, the minute this was announced, tons of manufacturers said, okay, here's our iPod Watches. And the problem was, pretty much all of them sucked. Everyone rushed them out to the market. They were silicone, they were low quality, and they just were not good cases. Now, we're starting to see some of the good companies like Switch easy and spec and some of those other guys release some pretty high-end iPod watch bands so uh, it's definitely something that's a little bit quirky it's a little bit unique it's a little bit you know of stuff where you're like what now because it is a little obscure but it's a good idea and I feel as though switch easy executed it well now this case is going to retail for $24.99 you can pick it up as low as $24.95 on websites around the net in case you're conscious of saving four whole cents okay now let's get into the packaging uh, it's very basic I actually don't have one of the integral pieces um, 
By the way, I'm filming my face now and you guys will be able to see what kind of acrobatics I do behind the camera, reaching around all my crap and getting under the lights. It is a good time, so enjoy it. Um, all right, so here we have the case. As you can see, it's a band. It's not silicone, which is good. It's thermopolyurethane, so it's not gonna pull out all your arm hair and crap like that. It's actually quite comfortable to wear once you've had it for about a day. Like any watch, if you don't wear a watch or you've never worn a watch or you haven't worn a watch in years, even weeks, when you put one on, it feels weird. So this feels weird for about a day or two, but then you don't even notice it's there after that. It is big because the iPod Nano, as small as it is, is still pretty big to stick on your wrist. So this is a pretty large faced watch, but it's definitely one that looks cool. Now inside of here, what you will get is you get this very awesome cardboard in lay of an iPod Nano and then inside there you're going to get a microfiber towel, a squeegee, and two screen shields. I really like this about Switch Easy and I'm so glad they carried over the screen shield uh, kind of tradition over to their iPod Nano line because their screen shields are top class considering they're bundled with cases. You know, you can get better screen shields, but in terms of that's what you get in the box, they're pretty awesome. And uh, I don't have one applied right now. I did try one of them and it was great. I peeled it off because I actually scratched it and I haven't put the other one on. It's downside in my car, but I'm going to go put that on as soon as I can, which is good because when this is on your wrist, it's going to be a used and it's going to be thrown about and you'll scrape it on stuff so the fact that you get screen shields is really awesome and I can't think of many other companies that are doing that. So as for the band itself it is a TPU like I stated before there are five wristwatch holes. Um, there's not a ton of influctuation. If you have a really large wrist you might experience some issues fitting this um, but it goes extremely small. I have a very small wrist and I'm still two notches from the top so you know in terms of the size it is a very very small fitted watch. Um, when we go up to the top you're gonna find the stainless steel clasp. Uh, it's a very awesome clasp actually. I've really, it's really grown on me. And I'll show you how this works by putting the iPod in first. As you can see both the buttons are still utilized. Well, all three of the buttons are still utilized by the sleep wake and the up and down volume. These are your typical jelly button style stuff you're gonna find on the Switch Easy Colors and other cases like that. All you need to do to fit the iPod in and the iPod getting inside is the most difficult part. Pulling it out is easy. You just kinda need to push it in there, jerry-rig it in there. I actually did a forced reset, go figure. Um, you just kinda pull the silicone over. Oh, connect to power. Okay, well, turns out I need to charge my iPod. Well, there's a problem, <laughs> but uh, Okay, well that's gonna be kind of lousy for demonstration, but I guess not, uh, we'll figure it out. So you got your volume up, volume down, and volume elsewhere, I gotta focus here. Okay, sleep wake, volume up, volume down, all of these buttons, if you can hear that, they're still very button sounding, they're still very accessible, and they work well. You're going to find a headphone jack right here. That's to fit your headphone jack. It is very recessed, so if you don't have recessed headphones, you are, and I can pretty much guarantee this to you, you are going to experience some issues getting that in there. You'll find the Switch Easy logo below, and that's pretty much all you're going to find on the face. Now on the bottom, there's nothing much. you got your punch holes right here, and then of course you've got your clasp. So what better way to show you how a watch works than to try the watch on myself? Um, it's a little bit of a feat, so I'm going to step away from the microphone while I try and put this on. But I will do it on camera. Watch my head, and it's going to be funny. So you just punch it in like that, slip the band in, and you're ready to rumble. Um, Got to focus here. This is a very tough review. Okay, so there's your rich. There's your wrist. There is your wrist, and here's the watch. As you can see, that clasp works very well. You just tuck that under. It's actually surprisingly, <coughs> sorry, it's actually surprisingly comfortable. Not only is it not annoying, but it actually is pretty comfortable. Um, it has a very nice smell to it. I'm sure that Switch Easy didn't intend for it to smell good, but it does. I j I'm just saying, it smells delicious has some kind of a berry smell to it. Anyway, um, as we move to the top here, you have access to all your buttons as you stated earlier. They're still very haptic, very resistive. And then um, along here, you will be able to see the face of the display. One issue I've experienced is lint uh, accruing around the edges. It's not a big problem, but it is something you'll notice. It's a little bit annoying, and uh, it's definitely something that I would advise 
you to keep an eye on because it does get annoying, it does get irritating. If there's one thing that I don't like about the Switch Easy ticker, it's that. Use it a day for a day or two and you're gonna get list lint accumulated around the sides of this and it does get annoying. Granted, you can just take a microfiber or your shirt and wipe it off and you're good to go. But that is something to note if that is something that bothers you. Taking it off is just as easy. You just pull and it pretty much unclasps and then removing it from the case is also very easy. As you can see, there's no 30 pin dock connector cut out. I can see why they did that, but it is kind of annoying that you can't just plug your watch and you do have to take this out before you can go to charge. So that's one thing to note. Is it a big deal? No, but is it a little bit annoying? Yes. All in all, the Switch Easy Ticker is a very good watch case. Definitely the best I've seen, uh, let alone tried. For 25 bucks, I'd definitely recommend it. It's very funny. I've used it on my wrist all the time. People are always freak out. Oh, what kind of watch is that? It turns heads. So if you have an iPod Nano Gen 6 and you don't have a case for it and uh, you want to kind of transmit music on the go, despite the fact you look like a major dork with headphones coming out of your wrist, it's like worse than wearing a Casio calculator watch. Um, <laughs> it, it is a fun, it's a fun little device. So it's definitely an awesome product considering what it is you have to take it with a grain of salt because it does sound pretty ridiculous when you hear it but I definitely like it and it's something I can recommend the switch easy ticker gets a very very highly rated award from me uh, I'm currently working out the rating system we're using I'm gonna I'm gonna change that because it's kind of subjective right now and I, I want to make it more solidified so that we can give you a definite number oh it's a 7 out of 10 or it's a 6 out of 10 or it's a 5 out of 10 or you know whatever will tell you so I'm working on that and I'll let you know when I've kind of discovered what rating system I want to go with. But until then, the Switch Easy Ticker is definitely a case and product that I would recommend. This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.